Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew here, Enough Said Cards on Monday evening. Hope you're all doing well. It has been a really long time since my last video. I think it has been over four months. Um, but during that time, I've still been very involved in the hobby. I've traveled around to a bunch of shows. Went up to the Philly show, I think it was in March. Uh, went to the Strongsville show, had a great time there. This past weekend, we had the Chantilly show here in Virginia, which I attended all three days. I've also been to some smaller local shows. And we are only a month away from the National, uh, which I will be attending from Tuesday through Sunday. So I can't wait for that. Uh, really looking forward to it. One of my favorite weeks of the year. Um, so got a lot going on. Um, my son, Jack, who some of you have met at shows, uh, and he's appeared in my videos over the years. He, along with my younger son, are actually the ones that got me involved in YouTube in the first place. And I think Jack was around 11 when I started making videos. And he's actually heading off to college in a couple weeks. Um, so time flies. Just been spending some time with him this summer, playing golf, doing some other things. Um, but it's time to make a video. Um, do have some pickups to show you. And I hope to be getting back to making more regular videos. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of getting back in the swing of things with that. So let's get right into the pickups. This is the first card I wanted to show you. And this is a Babe Ruth E121 holding ball from the uh, American Caramel Series of 120 from 1922. And it's SGC3. Picked this card up at the Philly show. I was actually um, able to acquire this in a trade which I was very pleased with. I traded five cards for this. And I uh, actually was thinking about doing a video at some point showing all the cards that I have acquired in trades over the years. Um, so if there's any interest in that, just leave a comment. Uh, some of my biggest cards I've gotten in trades, actually. Um, this card I got at the Strongsville show 1975 George Brett rookie. Thought this one looked really nice. Probably would grade pretty well, but actually I am, um, I have a little side project where I'm putting together a collection of cards, cards that I remember having as a kid and mostly 70s and 80s stars and rookies. And I don't want any of them to be graded. I want them to be the way I had them as a kid. Um, so kind of just slowly picking up cards for that collection when I see uh, examples that look nice to me. So got that in Strongsville. And if, if there's any interest in uh, seeing that collection, that's something else I thought about uh, showing in a video. So let me know if uh, there's any interest in that. This is another one from Strongsville. This is a trade card from Huntley and Palmer's uh, company in London. Um, I don't recall the year that this was produced. It was the late 1870s or early 1880s, really old, um, early example of a card showing baseball. You can kind of see the uh, image there. And it has kind of like a gold border, um, almost like a T205 card. This one's in pretty nice shape. Um, and on the back there, it uh, has some information about the company some of the uh, uh, items they sell, etc. So I will be sending this off to SGC at some point. Uh, but just thought this was really nice shape and got actually a really good deal on it at Strongsville. Uh, the rest of the cards tonight are going to be non-sports. So uh, if this is not something that interests you, um, now might be a good time to click to another video, but for those of you that are interested in non-sports, I have some cool pickups to show you. This is a big one for me, and I mentioned in a couple earlier videos uh, that this is a card I was really looking for. This is uh, uh, from 1887, the Lone Jack Inventor set, N365 um, is the designation, and this is the Thomas Edison card, which is probably the biggest card in the set, or definitely the biggest card in the set. And I got this in an auction. Uh, the other ones that I have, I have Alexander Graham Bell, I have Ben Franklin, uh, Charles Goodyear. Those are some of the other big ones. 
But this one was one I was really going after, and they don't come up a lot Sorry for the glare there. Um, so this one came up in an auction, and I really decided that I was going to bid strong for it and was able to, was able to land it. Uh, it was raw when I uh, purchased it in the auction. Actually, first sent it off to SGC, and it came back as altered. Um, uh, you know, SGC now uh, typically will put on the slab what the alteration is, whether it's trimmed, whether it's recolored, whether it's, you know, a pencil erasure or something like that. Uh, it didn't say anything, just altered. Um, I looked this card over every square millimeter of this card and did not see an alteration. Checked all the edges, everything under a loop. Just didn't see anything, so I... Cracked it out, sent it to PSA. It came back as a 1.5, which I think is the correct grade. It does have some um, minor little flaking there on the front, some spots of paper loss, but barely noticeable. So very pleased with this card, even though I had to <laughs> send it in for grading twice. Um, very happy to add that one to the collection. Not an easy card to find. Couple more here. This is from the N69. Um, I'm sorry, N76 set. Um, Great Americans, Duke Great Americans set. This is George Washington, obviously. And um, really thought this was a nice looking example. Got this um, through a friend on Facebook. Thought the color was real nice. It's centered well. These are getting harder and harder to find. So I was pleased to add that one. This is another cool one you don't see too much. This is from the N1 set from 1887 American Editors. And this is Joseph Pulitzer um, from the New, New York World. Obviously the Pulitzer Prize named after him. A uh, really great color on this one also. Nicely centered SGC3. That was a cool one. Just two more to show you here. This is from the N370 Lone Jack set. Rulers, celebrities, or baseball. And of course, this is Ulysses S. Grant. Um, SGC 1.5 because of some back damage. This was uh, obviously removed from a scrapbook. Uh, but this has a nice, bold image. A lot of them are kind of faded, but pretty good contrast in this one. Got this one in an REA auction. And finally, uh, this is from the N112 Duke set. You might notice that the uh, George Washington is the same exact image, minus the ad on the bottom. Um, this one also has Alexander Hamilton and John Hancock on it. It's the SGC2. This one I got raw on eBay, sent in for grading. These are very difficult to find. Um, they don't come up often. The N76s have gotten pretty tough, but the N112s are, are very scarce. So I was pleased to add this one and pretty happy with the two. I was expecting a one and a half um, based on the kind of really badly rounded corners, but We'll take a two. So happy with that. Guys, that's it for tonight. I promise I'll be back with another video soon. Let me know if you have any interest in seeing uh, um, my uh, 70s and 80s collection and also uh, um, you know cards I've acquired in trades over the years. Hope to catch up with you soon. Hope to see a lot of you at the National. Take care. Bye.